Hi, I'm Mr. Drabi and I created this. And this one. And that Supra video made over 800,000 views on a TikTok. And only thing you asked me was, can you make a tutorial? Yes, so here I am showing you how to make the car pieces effect. And before we start, make sure you subscribe my channel to let me know that I have someone to make videos for. Please leave a like to let me know that you like my style and how I make the videos. And also comment to let me know what specific thing you liked or disliked on the video. To begin, you need pre-edited clips with music and also color correction and color grading, but it's not necessary, but it's nice to look on a beauty saturated shots. I make my first cut in a Premiere Pro because I'm familiar with that and it's easy for me to go through all my shots. I exported the edited footage in Apple ProRes 422HQ because in that codec you don't lose any information uh, in the footage to color grade it properly and it's also easy for computer to decode and just edit faster. To make car pieces effect you need Adobe After Effects. For you I'm displaying also shortcuts on my monitor. Make sure you use shortcuts because it's making the edit way faster and way easier when you just uh, learn some basics of the shortcuts so make sure you use shortcuts I imported already my 206 uh, footage uh, to the After Effects the next step is to make new comp from the selection uh, the first step I'm making is duplicating the layer make it green, disabling the view and just selecting the audio and disabling on my footage the audio because when you are duplicating layers the audio are just stacking over and uh, when you have some multiple duplicated layers on specific shot the audio just well, going crazy and it's super easy to forget about disabling, disabling audio uh, when you render and just make sure to make that one step and after that I'm choosing the right spot to make that effect. Let's go with the music. Let's make it with the details. For the tutorial, let's use two super beauty shots. We will go from that rim shot to that close up front of the car. The one thing I changed in the, my keyboards shortcuts in After Effects is a Q and W. W is one frame forward and Q is one frame backward. On the default settings you have page up and page down to go one frame and so on. Let's go to the cut. This is beginning of the first shot and just press Command Shift D to cut and duplicate the layer. So we have our shots divided to the two pieces Let's go, go closer to that. Let's duplicate that layer, make a freeze frame, time freeze frame, and just let's go and find the super sweet spots to make that cuts. This is the one. This one, duplicate to make another. E and uh, yeah, E is and in Polish, yeah, that's why, yeah. <laughs> I'm super excited when I'm editing because I just love these edits and that cars and yeah, sometimes I can just use uh, Polish words. Yeah, there you get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's select those two layers because as you can see when, you, when we make the freeze frame, uh, the whole uh, footage is just freezed and to cut it just press options right square bracket to make it cut it. When you are cutting make sure you make it just one frame before ending because After Effects is uh, just making the cut a uh, frame forward. Okay so let's begin with the masking because to make that effect firstly make a mask. To start masking just double click on the layer click pen tool also select the working area and just expand it. You can use that and the uh, comma to zoom in and zoom out the working space to just make better cuts. Let's double check if we have full resolution. No, always when you are masking use full resolutions because then you can make that very good uh, masking 
with details. Let's see one more time. Yeah, let's do not hide the rim. Let's just go with the, let's try T to opacity. And let's go, maybe we'll start with the, with the roof and the windshield. Yeah, we'll go with the top and let's go and let's, let's mask the whole roof. To make a mask, you just press the pen tool and click it on the edge. And if you want to make like some curve, you just hold the mouse button and just drag it and then as you can see you can just move around to make that specific uh, path stick to the to the roof the points can be white if you have uh, like this uh, one if you want to make a correction of the one side of that uh, point you just press alt and just drag the point to make it better yeah and uh, we have to double check yeah correct it remember detail is the king so make sure you have made good and super detailed mask and we have our roof and the mirror mask let's center the anchor point to center the anchor point just press command and double click on the on that icon and as you can see it's centered we have our roof masked and then let's go with the another part of that car and we've made a mask right here let's select the pen tool go right here okay just let's center the anchor point and as you can see so this is the basics of the effect we will make a movement to those masks to that pieces and when you make the cut on the uh, on the bit just go two three four five frames backward to extend the length of the of the layer just press option or alt and left square bracket and you can expand the layer on the uh, right here and just let's make an animation of the position and to reveal the position you just press p and the quicker way to make a a keyframe you just press alt or option p to make a keyframe go five keyframes ahead or forward if i pronounce it good and just make another keyframe yeah and on the first keyframe just go way up like here and we have nice animation to make it more natural or more intense just uh, press the F9 to make a uh, is 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 in and is out and just let's make the curve like more like this yeah just in the middle just to make it and let's see yeah and it's sharp and not as natural as it should be this music is smooth nice music <laughs> and just uh, to, let's add just uh, motion blur uh, to add the motion blur just press that little three uh, circles and as you can see we have nice motion blur added let's make the same to that one alt p one two three four five option alt p and make that movement and let's go from here oh it's it's got it but we'll see how it's gonna go maybe let's go from here let's make it easy ease go forward let's zoom in do this square and this square let's make a motion blur and let's see yeah, and this is how to make the curve pieces effect. So let's just expand it a little bit to see it. And this is looking good. Yeah. One more time. Yes. <laughs> okay, and this is how the uh, final video uh, and final project looks. Uh, you see a lot of layers, a lot of some kind of 
different effects to make that uh, specific video looking yeah as good as it should look <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah let's uh, roll and uh, check it out <laughs> How was it? Was it good? Thank you very much guys for um, watching. I hope that video helped you to make the car pieces effect. Make sure that you subscribe my channel to let me know that I have somebody to make videos for. Leave a like to let me know that you learned something and uh, you like my style of the videos. And leave a comment about things you liked or disliked in the video to help me improve the future videos. Follow me on the Instagram also, I'm posting the reels, at least one reel weekly, yeah. And thank you very much and bye bye!